Hi guys, it's Stu here from SD Roberts Plastering and Insulation and today we're going to talk about lath and plaster. What do you do if you've got a lath and plaster wall or ceiling and it's a bit ropey, a bit cracked. As you can see we've got some cracks running through above the door. Quite typical really, stress cracking above the corner of the door frames where the door's been um, open and closed. Um, it's been patched up with some gypsum over the years, as you can see. Um, bits of gypsum plaster everywhere, where um, previous owners have patched up this lath and plaster wall. But it's been like this for over 100 years, guys. So it's not going anywhere. It was covered with um, a lining paper. So I spoke about this many, many times. We've got a product here called Fiberglass Reinforcing Mesh. Comes in very, very handy. If you've got lath and plaster surfaces like this you can even use it on lath and plaster ceilings as long as your ceiling is in sound condition and the keys haven't blown how do you know if they've blown well if you go in your loft lift up the insulation um, you'll see the keys on the back of the laths um, and if they're overall okay and there's no signs of sagging or, or uh, the plaster's not blown away from the laths then we can um, embed some fiberglass mesh in the skim coats re-skim the ceilings for you so um we didn't do that on this one guys and i'll tell you why although these ceilings are lath and plaster they're all papered so when you sort of factor in the cost of uh, stripping away the paper sometimes there's multiple layers of paper when you factor in stripping away all the paper um, and the labour involved in doing that and then priming the ceilings and whatnot, making good uh, and then skimming and meshing sometimes it makes sense just to overboard with a 9.5mm plaster board so that's what we've been doing as you can see this master bed here is um, almost finished actually um, and you can see this ceiling drying out so this ceiling has been overboarded with a 9.5 mil plasterboard as I say because it was papered and it made more sense rather than messing around you know spending hours and hours stripping the ceiling priming it all um, in this case we just um, overboarded the ceiling so there's two options for you guys if you've got lath and plaster ceilings and walls um, now meshing ceilings comes in really handy if you've got um, original cornicing running around um, your ceiling for example um, and you don't want to lose that edge by adding another half inch of thickness using a plasterboard that's where the mesh will come in so in those situations we, we will strip paper and mesh uh, the walls again very fragile this one's been skimmed within the last two hours um, fiberglass mesh has been embedded throughout as you can see um, this is what it looks like before it's skimmed. So the mesh is pre-cut and put into position um, before we do the plastering. Uh, same round here, look. So it's all it's all meshed. The corners are all scrim taped as well, just to prevent any cracking going on in the corners. We don't want any cracking. That's why we mesh the hell out of all of our jobs. Uh, we pride ourselves on no no cracks in your new plaster work. Uh, all this has been primed and mashed all round here. Took the radiator off for the customer. Um, and again, fiberglass mesh all the way round. Some scrim tape here on the bead. We always scrim all the beads as well, guys. Now and again, if, depending on how much movement you get, sometimes you'll get um, a slight hairline crack down the wing of the bead which is why we um, take the bead again you can see I'm quite thorough with um, things like taping up and meshing and um, let's show you this one so the paper has been removed labor is working his way around the rooms taking all the paper off but you can see the state of some of these walls been patched up with um, one coat plaster which is this gray stuff um, gypsum plaster which is the pink stuff and the light grey colour is the original um, actually no that's not that's actually a paint but this, this light grey colour here guys is the original lime skim that you can see 
and the reason that we're meshing everything is because all these little cracks although the walls are in good neck these little naughty hairline cracks um, tend to come back through if you don't mesh um, the corners were originally cast in sand and cement and lime skim but we do put a, a new corner bead on because as you can see they chip they can chip away so we put a thin coat corner bead on and let's show you what they look like look back in here on this chimney breast thin coat corner bead will leave um, a very sharp plum uh, edge on all your external corners which you just paint but this uh, these beads they, they protect your plaster work guys and they um they stop you chip the chips happening that's just showed you in the other room there so you won't get any um chipping on on your corners when they get knocked and stuff like that anyway i've rambled on long enough just wanted to give you a quick tour of this project in Earlsdon, show you what we've been up to um, if you have got an older property and you've stripped the wallpaper off and the plaster is looking a little bit like this a little bit weak and a little bit fragile but the backing coat's okay uh, give us a call we can come around have a quick look give you a completely free quotation um, for reinforcing your old walls and ceilings having a brand new skim which doesn't crack can just paint that with a paint roller no need for sanding or filling you'll have a completely perfect smooth finish hit the link below guys if you're interested in the quote to around the coventry and warwickshire area thanks for watching we'll see you next time